Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking on my video. So, I uh, made a video quite a while ago now about rescuing Tommy, um, my bull lurcher. Um, I've only really made that one video about him. Um, I haven't really done much about me walking him or anything just because it's just been training. It's just been constant training, uh, making sure he's behaved and stuff before I even try and put a camera in my hand and film us walking, you know. Um, just because I didn't want him buggering off or doing anything stupid and I wanted to be in full control. But, you know, time's passed now. We've uh, got into a good training regime. I've been practicing, um, I had a 25 metre lead. And I walked him on that for a good few months, training him and uh, making sure his recall were getting better, um, that the um, the interaction was getting there, he was making eye contact, he was listening to me. Uh, and yeah, I walk him off lead now in certain places. Because he's such a big dog, I've got to be careful because it's more to do with the other people and other dog owners that, you know, they panic because of how big he is. Um, and that sets Tommy off. Tommy is a very excitable lad. He's very boisterous. He wants to come and have a look. He wants to have a nosy, see what you're doing. Um, and sometimes people don't want that. So he comes and has a look. He comes and has a sniff. People get a bit scared. And he starts barking because he thinks they want to play. Um, but I just thought I'd get a video of his progress and how we're doing now and what kind of dog this is. Because bull lurchers, uh, they've built up a bad name for themselves quite Quite a few years ago now, there was uh, uh, a new story about people breeding them for hunting and uh, hunting certain like animals and stuff. And uh, they are used for ratting, they are used for rabbiting because of the breed that they are. They, you know, they're a bull lurcher, so pit bull or staffy lurcher. So they're built for strength and power and speed. Um, but yeah, here we are. Here's my big lad, Tommy. He's a beautiful dog such a nice temperament um as i say w with that being said about people with the past um the the bad name that they've had tommy's never seen aggression i've never shown him aggression i've never taught him to be nasty or anything so he doesn't express that um he's just a little bit stupid that's all he gets a little bit boisterous tommy this way come on come on come on this way this way tom <laughs> saying all this about training <laughs> once he gets a scent that's it <laughs> training training is one of them things it's uh, it's an ongoing process but he still stays around look but we'll try and uh, we'll try and get him running today see if we can get him running come on come on come on come on come on that's a boy that's a boy Yeah, he's a, he's a beautiful dog though. As you can see, he's a happy boy, and that's the main thing. You know, that is the main character, and that is what you want to see as a dog owner. A happy doggo. Big tail in the air. Loving his life. That's what it's about. Not training them to be a weapon, not training them to be anything else I mean I know dogs can be used as tools you know they make good writing dogs I can understand farmers having them for that reason um, but it's not something I really wish out of Tommy just because he's a family dog um, you know he's, 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 he's a pet as such uh, he gets treated like one I mean you know having a bull lurcher hey, oh, he's going he's going he's off having a bull lurcher uh, can be quite demanding, they need a lot of exercise, they need a lot of feeding as well. Tommy, come on! Need a lot of exercise, a lot of feeding, uh, a lot of attention. They're quite attention dogs, they want to see attention and... Come on, come on, come on! This way, that's a boy, that's a boy, that's a boy, come, 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 come! Off you go, off you go, off you go! Off. And again, and again, and again, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! What's this? Hey, hey. Oh, off you go. Go on, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. Fetch is a funny one. He likes to chase, but fetch is uh, just ends up being a one-way street, really. Um, you know, it ends up where 
I'm throwing at him. This is what I try and do. Wait, wait, for recall, for any, any lurcher people out there, for recall, get yourself a little tug of toy like this. Um, treats didn't really work for Tommy because he's not food driven. He's not food driven at all, but he's play driven. He will play till the cows come home. Tug of war that is, and he's quite rough play as well. It's not teaching him aggression, but it's rough play. He wants scruffing up a bit as a boy. He wants a bit of a bit of a tough tough love kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I started with that, getting him going. And uh, yeah, he started coming back a lot sooner because he wanted to come up and he wanted to touch, he wanted to praise. Ah, ah. He wanted to touch, he wanted to praise, and he wanted some attention. Come on. So, I'm gonna have five minutes with him now, and hopefully, hopefully for you guys watching, I'll uh, finish this video so you can see him running. Hopefully we'll get him doing some sprints. So, see if we can get that going. Come on, boy! Come on, boy! And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Come on. And again, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And again, and again, and again, and again. Good boy, yes, sit, 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 sit. Good boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got him going a bit there. He's a bit tired this morning. Got him running last night. Um, zooming in and out, woohoo. Um, yeah, I got him running last night. He, uh, in the other dog field. It's downhill gradient, so he likes to run around in loops on that. Maybe, um, maybe another day I'll get a video in there just to show you his progress and how he's getting on. He's, like I say, he's a wonderful dog, friendly with other dogs. And it just goes to show a big dog like this can have a nice temperament. They can be friendly, they can be family orientated. I've had my nieces round with him and he's absolutely fine. He's lovely. He's a lovely dog. Um, I would recommend Bull Lurch. He's the brilliantly companion. If you're somebody who lives on your own, they're fantastic. You know, he's helped me a lot in my life because he's made me a discipline. I have to get up every morning to go walk him. It's a consistent thing. Walk him every night. I get up during the week at 20 past four in the morning to get him out for a good hour to burn his energy off and it's just nice to see a rescued dog that everybody had given up on him he um last december he got put into the uh, kennels and people weren't taking him because of the sheer size of him uh, they said he was two years old but i believe he was younger just because of how much he's grown since i've had him um, I've spoke to other bull lurch owners, they say they usually stop, stop growing around 18 months and this guy's still growing, he's still filling out, especially now I've got him running, I've got him burning loads of energy so his muscles packing out, he's just getting bigger and bigger, so yeah, he's just a mint dog, um, yeah, T Tommy the Tank, so if, uh, if you've enjoyed this bit of a dog walking video, you know, let me know you're here, let me know what you think, um, it's early doors, it's about quarter to seven at the moment, Saturday morning. Um, I'm working later on today, but I just thought I'd pick up the camera and show you my little morning routine. This is this is me on a daily basis. Um, out in the fresh air, out in the elements, getting getting the morning uh, rise with, the, with wildlife before my day starts. So yeah, man, take it easy people. As I always say on this channel, peace and love to anybody watching this. Yeah, man.